So I am waiting for Gina. She didn't check in, so I don't know if she got the time messed up or if I didn't make it clear. It's possible. Honey, can you just put me on there? Okay, he's going to put just be on there. If I look tired, I am. Don't know why. I slept great all weekend, but it's Easter week. It's Easter week. Oh, she says she's in the back room. Huh. She says she's in. Huh. All right, I'm back. She says she's in the back room, but I don't see her. I will log out and log back in. Okay, cool. So she's trying to get in, you guys. She's trying. With that, though, I see there is 12 lurkers out there. Hi, my lurkers. <laughs> Becky, there's Becky. Yay. And Jan. Jan, hi. And Gina's trying to get in. I don't know what the deal is, but that's okay. No worries. Um, hopefully she can get in. Otherwise, my, maybe my husband can resend her the link. But guess what week it is? It's Easter Bunny week. It's Easter coming up. Yay! Hi, Mary. Hi. So glad you joined us. So um, I hope you guys all had a good weekend. We had snow. So we went from 70 degrees to snow. And now it's kind of just this hazy foggy, lucky, you know, weather. So, you know, you know. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Um, so yeah, it's been the um, but this weekend I got some things done and um hope you guys did too. Um Classic Gold Soul. Hi, Classic Gold Soul. She's trying to get on here. She says she's she can see us in the back room, but we don't see her. So she's going to try to reload. Hopefully she'll get on here. Good to see you. Um, she might, yeah. But you only sent her the link to the one show, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so she only had one choice. So you might have to, like, message her or something. Hi, you want to come up and say hi? Are you trying to get my attention? Say hi to the world. There she is. There she oh is. Hey. <laughs> hey, Gina. It was just spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. I was like, I don't know what to do. I yeah. Just, I, don't I don't know either, but I'm glad you found us. Yay. I figured it out. I'm, I'm hey. not happy, but we got here. Woo! I'm glad you're here. I am so glad you're here. Everybody who doesn't know Gina, Gina is Southern Syridge Vintage. She is awesome. She's had me on her show, and I wanted to have her on mine so badly. So she's here, and I'm so happy about that. Um, um, so those of you, um, I'll let Gina introduce herself a little bit, and then we'll talk about how we do the sale. All right. I am Gina from Southern Siren Vintage. I have a channel here on YouTube and I have been reselling for, I don't even gonna say how many years because <laughs> I'm just not. Too many. So, <laughs> a long, long, long time. But I've actually been here for, gosh, over three years now on YouTube, I guess. It's been a while. I've been here for a while. Um, I live in Florida and I ship using Pirate Ship and invoice using PayPal. And I have regular sales. I just started something new this week. So I'm having sales every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm calling that my SSV for Southern Siren Vintage SSV Mug Club at the 10 a.m. Eastern. So for you early morning people, we can get together, have a cup of coffee, see a few vintage items, and start our day out together. And then I have sales on Tuesday with Jen Eads. We alternate channels. This week's on my channel at 3 p.m. Eastern. And it, this week is our quickie sale, which we love doing. Um, so that's where we both bring 50 items each and we go super fast with flat rate wow. prices all the way through as fast as we can go. 
We usually Wrong. get through about two hours, a hundred items in two hours. We go fast. Wow. And then, uh, and then I have my sales on Thursday night at 9 p.m. So that's my week. Yeah, so you're on a lot. So if you guys are not subscribed to her, Nightbot will put it in the chat. Um, you can also find her by Southern Siren Vintage. Um, if Nightbot doesn't have it, I will go ahead and link it when I um, when it's her turn. Let's go back and say hi to a few people because I know some people have come in. Let's see. Said hi to them. Mary Sung Lee. Hi, Sung Lee. Hi, Tammy. Christy Bean. All right. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Angie. I run Angie's Oddities, LLC. I do this show every Monday. Hi, Lena. I do this show every Monday, 4 o'clock Central. And then uh, a couple times a month, I'm on Thursday nights with either Crafty Clarence or a Thrifty Thursday. But I don't do it every Thursday. So next week, I'm not doing it. Um, otherwise than that, you'll see me pop up on other shows. Other people have invited me on other shows. You want to know about those, you can go to my community tab. Um, but this is Monday Market. This is where we just have fun, chit chat in the chat and show a few things. Um, I'm sure Gina does the same thing, but I invoice through PayPal. I ship through private ship. Um, I try to get your invoice. I still have stuff from Friday night. I haven't invoiced you guys. I was hoping to get it over done over the weekend, but I had four shows to invoice. And so I've got like the last show, like four items. So if you haven't gotten an invoice for me, please let me know. I'll make sure I get it out to you. Um, but I've got that. So this week, I have tonight. Tomorrow on my normal Tuesday at 7 p.m. is um, Treasure Scavengers. And then let me look. I don't even know what the rest of the week brings. What's this week? Week of last week of March? Um, yeah. Nothing the rest of the week because of the holiday coming up. The next week... My Monday market, I have Wonder Woman Wendy for my special guest. And then the 4th and the 5th, the first week of April, I have a Crafty Clearance show. And I have a um, Every Picture Tells a Story show with Trisha on Sandy and Otto. So next week, I'll have a few more shows than this week, which is fine because I'm playing catch up. Still trying to get all those invoices out. Um, we are going to do... I never catch up, do I? Um, we are going to do eight rounds, two items each. And um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. You know me, I love to chit chat with you guys. Um, otherwise, do you want to start, Jen, or do you want me to start? Whatever you want to do, I don't care. Okay, we'll I have Gina start since she's my fancy guest. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys have- I'll Just go with the flow, whatever. It don't matter yeah. to me. And if you have any questions, please feel free to holler at us. And thank you, Jenna. Woohoo! Um, she just, it's Gina. Okay, it's Gina. Lena Ray just subbed to you. Oh, thanks, Lena. Yeah, and you guys, I'm going to have my goal. So I'm almost to 500. If we can get to my 500 by my birthday in July, I'm going to have a big July birthday 500 sub party. So <laughs> just to let you know, help me get there and we'll have a party. All right. I'll send it over to Gina. Thanks, Gina. Okay. So just so you know, if you are, you know, you already purchased from me, if you purchased anything last week, I have not invoiced yet. I was planning on doing that all day yesterday and I had a horrible migraine all day. I could not even Aww. see the computer screen. So it's coming. So whatever, you know, from today forward for the week will be a new invoice. You don't have to worry about it. It's all compounded together. Your others will be coming either tonight Thank or in the Mary. morning. You'll be getting your invoice. So just so you know. Thank you, Mary. And hello, friends. Hey, Mary and Amy and now Lena and Tammy, Renee and Christy. And oh my gosh, all of you. I love you so much. Jan, I'm looking through it really quick. Mary Ellen. <laughs> I like to say hi to everybody. <laughs> oh, I didn't see Mary Ellen come in. It's so hi, Mary nice Ellen. I missed you. I'm sorry. Hi. And Linda, classic old soul. Yes, I said hi to her earlier. Did I get everybody? If I didn't say hi to you, y'all know, just yell at me and I'll say hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes my eyes don't work right, so I don't see everything. But just yell at me and I'll be, I'm more than happy to say hi. Sometimes I just don't see you. So 
All right, let's get started. Y'all ready to get started? Yeah. So my first item needs a bath. I just got this, so it still needs a bath, but I want to go ahead and bring it because I think it's so super cute. And I am going to put it in a basin of water and clean it. A basin? Who even says that? I'm from like the 1800s. In the sink. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the sink with some water and soap and wash it. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it is this really pretty, what I call a glass bonsai tree. And like I said, it does have some dust on it, but it's kind of this nice little peach color. And this is all glass, all the leaves. Really? And, wow. the little, you know, flower petals and everything is all glass. It's got this pretty celadon jade colored base that's ceramic on it. So I'm going to start this at just $10 and I'll give you a measurement on it. I have to give you a start price or Tammy Renee will yell at me in the chat. So Tammy and Renee, keep us in line. Okay. <laughs> it's about six inches tall and four inches wide or long, I should say, and about two and three quarter inches wide. Really pretty little. Like I said, it needs some fluffing. This is all wired so you can move the leaves and everything around where you want them to be. I just haven't done much with it because I just picked it up, like I said. But pretty little glass leaves and flowers and blooms, I guess they are. I don't know what kind of little tree this is supposed to be. I don't think it's a cherry blossom, is it? I don't know. Well, isn't it supposed to be a bonsai tree? Isn't that? Although, do they have flowers? Yeah, but they call everything I don't bonsai know. that you shape, you know? So I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a plant. I'm not a, what do they call those horticulturists? Yeah. Yeah. I can't be those big words. It's, it's a glass tree. It's, it's a glass it's tree. Called. There you go. Glass With tree. flowers. With flowers. Lena, glad you didn't say wash tub. <laughs> oh. The night is early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just, we haven't even gotten started yet. We're just starting. Just wait. <laughs> You got a while. It could come out. So. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's no interest, we will pass on it. I don't know how bad the lag is. So, but if you decide I don't you either. to we'll yell at me and we'll get to you, but I don't want to take a lot of time if nobody's interested. Oh, that's okay. Huh? My hubby's watching the lag. My husband does all this stuff. He's like got everything, all these fancy he says yeah, it's about seven second leg right now. So that's okay, not too okay. bad. That's not bad. No. I know. I know YouTube has been so scrambled oh. up today. So bad today. Yeah, I've heard that people are having I, problems. I was, I was trying to do my little Monday sale this morning. And it's like, you know, I didn't say, which is new. So I was like, okay, it's new for people. They don't know to come in yet, whatever. But then I find out afterwards that people were like trying to come in and either it wasn't coming up on their screen or something. It was all Aww. screwed up. I don't know what happened, but hopefully it's fixed now. Yeah. Well, it's it YouTube. You never time. know. Usually I'm the one that breaks stuff, but it was not me this time. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> me too. That's why I go to my husband, fix this. Cause it's computer stuff and I don't know computer stuff. I don't do that. Yeah. So well, next up, I, I I'm horrible with computers. This fantastic, uh, it's called you for light. It's a natural stone material and okay. it is reactive Ooh. under black light. And so it's this carved, some kind of wildcat, cougar, panther, whatever you want to call it. It's got this Hi, Carrie Ann. Welcome in. Hi, Carrie Ann. This beautiful, you know, coloration in there. It's like a little rust and gray and black and all that. But the fantastic thing is, I don't know if I'll be able to get it dark enough in here. When you hit it with the black light, all the little orange part or the rust parts in there turn bright orange. Oh, and this is going to be a $12 start. See, I told you I would forget. <laughs> I get so interested in talking about the stuff, I forget to give a price. So let's see if you can see it. You can see it a little bit on there as I go past, but it's like glows, like really, it's like lava when you oh, actually neat. have it. It is like oh. lava. It is oh, Christy's so cool. in for 12. Christy cool Beans thing, in for 12. The cool she's, thing. She's awesome. That are like me that, you know, like, Kind of strange things it is anatomically correct <laughs> my husband <laughs> he just <laughs> <laughs> are you turning 
getting red deer. I get you that know? question sometimes. I want to make sure everybody knows. <laughs> so it's about five. It's about five inches long. I got to be careful how I say it now. It's about five inches long. And about oh. five inches tall. That's so cool, cute, though. It's still very cool. And it is All right in a black light cabinet because it does it is like lava. The glow is so bright and orange. It's so cool. cool. And I like that they cut out like his mouth. It's one solid piece of stuff, but you can kind of see through where they cut out his little mouth right there with his teeth. Yeah. That's, that's a lot awesome. Effort, I would think. That's but, awesome. Yeah, we can count it down. All right, I mean, Christy, Christy, we're counting it down to you unless Christy somebody wants to pop in. in anatomically correct uh, wildcat here. <laughs> Going once, going twice, sold to Carrie Ann. What? Christy. Oh, that was like, where is it? There. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Thank and you. That was too. I'm All so right. happy you got the anatomically correct cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, two and two. Oh, okay. All right, so here's my first one. Ooh, as they go chink. Um, these are so cute. I thought these would be cute in a little girl's room, or I thought these would be cute for a child. It's the morning prayer. And it's got the little bunnies. There was a sticker on the back of the of brand, but that's gone. And then you've got the plate holder um, where you put your strings in. This is a start of $8 for the two. And then you've got your night prayer. So you can put these up. It's got the same little girl. One, she's in the mor oh, morning with the bunnies, afternoon with the candle. They both have the florals on them. Um, the only thing that I noticed is that right here, a little bit of the M is wearing off. Probably from you, or you know, probably from uh, being touched. But the gold edging is in pretty good shape. Um, these are, and I don't know where my other my other measuring tapes. So I'll just use this one. Seven and a half inches across. So if you have a little one that. Uh, you want to decorate their uh, nursery or something. There is some sticky here. I can get that off. That was probably from when I picked them up. But vintage morning and night prayer plates. That's my first one. All right. Now my second one. My second one I'm going to show you. This was my friend's. And she says her it was her mother's when she was in Germany. Which, okay. But it's written in English, so I don't know. But it's this beautiful sugar container with the hand-painted flowers on it with the matching lid. It's in good shape. No chips or cracks. Um, No crazing that I can see. A few little flea bites, like not even flea bites, but like pinholes. And maybe they did that too. Um, did that for bubbles? I don't know. But um, it's in good shape. There is a spot here. It looks like it's chipped, but it's painted over. So I don't know if that happened in manufacturing, but it is painted over and it is glossed over. But otherwise, in the, oh, you want a start number. Um, $8 start. I'm sure this could definitely hold eight or uh, a four pound bag of sugar. Probably I would clean it out if you're going to do that, obviously. But it's got a really pretty finial. And then it's got the matching flowers on the top that match the flowers on the container. And this thing is about six inches, a little bit more than six inches high. Without the lid, yes. Five inches across with the lid. Get that there. About nine inches with the lid. Oh, that is my second one. All right. If I see no takers, I will put it off to the side and I'll send it back to Gina. Thank you. 
Thanks everybody for looking. I'm going to set this. I'll put it over there. No, I got it. All right. I just so have to flip. Next, I have, this is by uh, the Florentine Collection and it is the Infant of Prague. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're showing up. There it is. You're showing up. Oh, it's okay. just taking a minute to flip. Oh, wow. Infant of Prague. And I just think it's Where's beautiful. Roman? He's on a wooden base. I believe it's wood. Uh, it may be uh, some kind of uh, composite. Just may look like wood. But he does have a sticker on the bottom for the Florentine collection. Uh, oh, wow. Sorry. It's going to be a $10 start. And what I liked was that the little metal plate on the front, it still has the protective plastic on it, so it hasn't gotten scratched up yet. So I'm going to leave nice. that on there so it stays nice and shiny. If anybody knows how to get a hold of Roman, Roman would love that. I don't know how to get a hold of him. I love all the details, like the gold in there and everything. I think that's beautiful. Cute little face. And I'll give you a quick measurement. Let's see if I can measure. Uh, it's eight and a half inches tall. Really pretty little piece. There we go. Now my camera's going to focus. <laughs> it takes a minute sometimes. He's got his fingers and everything. I found these before, but they're missing fingers. <laughs> These always get broken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. If there's no interest, we will pass on that. And, and you I may, if, I if Roman shows up, I just texted him or messaged him. I'm sorry. I just messaged him. If he shows up, I'll have you show that again. Because okay. that's right okay. up his alley. That's the stuff he collects. So. So next up, I have a mermaid. I may imagine that. Yay. So it is a metal mermaid you hang on your wall. Her tail oh, wow. a little bit further so you can hang stuff on it like a hook. And she's got kind of like this patina finish on her. Uh, she is going to be an $8 start. She's got the hanger on the back so you can hang her up. And I'll give you a measurement on her. She's about seven inches long. So if you have like a bathroom that you're doing, you know, in a nautical mermaid, whatever style, you could use this to hang like a towel on, like a guest towel or something. Uh -huh. or hang some jewelry off of, like some strings of pearls or something. It would be really cute. It's good that they strategically placed her hair where they did. Yes, they did. They did a good job <laughs> with that. <laughs> you can have that up in your bathroom. You don't have to worry about the kids. Exactly. But that is cool. That is very neat. Oh, my flea market treasure ask, is it brass? Do you know if it's brass? I don't think. I think it's like a pot metal. Okay. I'm assuming it's like some kind of pot metal that they've made. They patina to look like that. It okay. is metal. It's pretty thick got a little weight to it but i don't think it's brass oh welcome in my flea market treasures welcome welcome any other questions all right all right we will pass on that thanks guys was that two already boy was that quick was it that was two? oh man Okay, my next one is an Anchor Hocking Pennsylvania Dutch water pitcher. Now it has the gold in there with all the different vintage hats. Minus the dust, please, because I also just picked this up. Dust is free. And then it's got the cologne, the Pennsylvania pattern. It is in excellent condition. Um, it's not super heavy that you'd have to worry about me shipping it. I really do ship well in bubble wrap. This is starting at $10. There is no chips, no cracks on the lip or anything. Excellent condition. Um, yep, that's just the seam. There's no straw marks or anything. So this would be perfect for the upcoming spring. Put your lemonade in, um, iced tea. 
with this nice colonial um, Pennsylvania Dutch pattern. Got the windmills and the horses. It's a really pretty piece. I love the old um, hot belly stove there. So really nice. And this is quite big. I mean, it's got to be at least eight inches. Probably more. Let's see. Nine. As close. Nine. And I would say about eight across with the handle. So this is a nice size. Ten dollars. Handle's in good shape. Again, I didn't find any straw marks or bubbles. I found it to be very, very clean. It is a nice pattern. I like just, I like the old fashioned stuff like this. Um, look at the old bicycle. Can you imagine riding on one? I'm afraid of heights. I can't even imagine doing that. Like being up that high and can't touch the ground. I watched Don't a show me. about that and they talked about how many people got hurt because of those. Because it was so really? high. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll pass. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that, oh, that's a sailboat and that's a ship. I don't know what that is. Maybe a wind, a wind, uh, one of those weather vines. But there's all sorts of different pictures in here of colonial Pennsylvania Dutch pattern. No wash tub. Nope. No wash tub on it. <laughs> Chair. There's this. Oh, wait. What is that? Maybe it is. Is that uh -oh. the. Yeah. Well, it, it looks like um, the washing machine thing. Isn't it? Well, there we go. Isn't that the washing machine thing? There's your wash tub. Ah, yeah. Lena, we've got a wash tub. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, you got your wash tub. That is so cool. So yeah, there is one right there. Uh -huh. And then a chair and the bike and everything. So $10. If anybody's interested, please let me know. I knew it. <laughs> Lena's pretty smart. She knows what she's, she, she predicted that in advance. All right. My next one is also anchor hocking. These are, these are a little, let's see, that was the, this would have been the same time period. These are called boppy glasses. They are yellow candle wick. You've got two dessert glasses and you have two cordial, cordial or wine glasses. They have the laurel, uh, the laurel leaf pattern etched on them. Oh, this is starting at $8 for all four. $8 for all four. Um, the yellow does um, kind of go into the candle wick part, um, but it's not fully on there. It's mostly, the yellow's mostly in the base. You'll see that on both of these. And then on these, there's more, there, same thing. There's not as much yellow on the actual candle wick, but the base is all yellow. So it's a set of four. I found no chips or cracks on any of them. $8 for this set. I think these would be great for ice cream or custard, like fancy. If you want to have a fancy, you know, little extra on your table. So it's a set of four for $8. The Anchor Hocking Boopy yellow etched candle candle wick base desserts or cordials set of four. All right, those are my four. You like these, Amy? Come on, Amy. I know you like them. <laughs> those are beautiful. They are. I like them. Like I said, the candle wick itself isn't all that yellow, but it, the reflection from this shows it. Like you can see, it looks yellow. But really, the candle wick isn't yellow, but the base is a bright yellow. It's very pretty. Very pretty. All right. So those are $8 for the set of four. And I am going to switch it back to Gina. Thank you, everybody, for looking. Oh, we just have to wait a minute for Amy Mux to catch up with us so it flips. <laughs> okay. It's showing on, the, on their screen, so it'll pop up on yours, okay. Gina, in just a second. How tall is the pitcher? Hi, homeschool. Hello. Oh, that's okay. No problem. I think I said nine inches. Let me check. Yeah. Nine inches, Lou. Nine inches, Lou. So, and it, it's a pretty good size. Be perfect for lemonade in the summertime. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be really nice. Okay. So well, next up, I have a controlled bubble orange bowl 
Um, it does not glow under black light, just so you know, but it's still a beautiful piece of glass. It's got those really nice control bubbles in there. It is art glass. I would not call it um, Murano because it does have a pontal on it and it is, you know, it has been smooth, but there still is part of a pontal there. So it's just art glass, but it is a gorgeous That's nice. Piece. Wow, uh, pretty. It'll be a $12 start. And it's kind of like a deeper orange around the top and around the bottom. And then it's kind of an ombre lighter orange around the center. It's not like really stand out in your face, but there is a little differentiation in the color. Nice. So especially when the sun's going through it, you can see it more. But I love the control bubbles in there. Look how, I mean, they are lined up almost perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah, that's a beautiful piece of glass. So even though not Murano, it's still a really nice still. piece. That's a lot of work to get it yeah. just perfectly like that. Beautiful art glass. And I'll wow. Give you a it is six inches wide and uh, about three inches tall. And I'm seeing this for spring and summer with mm. one large flower right in the center, like a magnolia bloom, something like that just in the center right there would be gorgeous <laughs> it does look like orange jello it does it is exactly that color that's what sh somebody should put orange jello in there you could put orange jello in it but like serve it and they're gonna be like why it do you have like, people like out yeah yeah that'd be so cool <laughs> that would be cool yeah somebody needs to buy that or put green jello in it like have the green and orange some people are like, do I eat out of that or do I leave it? Like I said, I think it would be beautiful. One large yeah, flower. Yeah, one large flower. I just think that would be so Or the other thing is a, a tea light, a floating candle. A floating, yeah, a floating tea I think light. a floating it's candle on that be in the middle centerpiece of your like outdoor table. Ooh, I like that. I think that'd be pretty. Or even if you cut some daisies, like the stems pretty short and just kind of layered them in there, like that yeah. yellow from the daisies against that would be really pretty too. That'd be really I, pretty too. I sit here and I go through all these things in my mind. So just tell me to shut up and move on and I will. No, no it's good. Moment. It's good. I love having you. No, it's fine. I love the chit chat. Absolutely not a problem. I like daydream about all the stuff you can do with stuff and I have to stop myself. So next up, it'll be an $8 start. And it is a piece of Ellie Smith glass. And it is what I would call a match holder. It, it, I guess it could be a toothpick holder, but it seems a little deep for that, I would think. And it's this blue boot. Oh, that's cool. And I like because it it's got, a... you know, kind of like the hob, know how it sticks out, but these are squares, like little yeah. squares that poke out. Wow. Like that. I think it's really fun with the texture. And the texture doesn't go down like on this part of the boot, but there's like a seam. Let's see if I can show that to you. Like they did kind of a seam right there on the boot. Fancy. Wow. Again, toothpick holder, match holder, whatever you want to use it for. Again, I would put a few little posies in there on a table, and I think that would be really sweet with some other, you know, decorations around it or whatever. The color is really good for spring and well, even summer coming up. But really, good classical for soul. You don't you don't want blueberries in the orange bowl? <laughs> really? Who doesn't want the orange and blue together? Well, you you could you could do orange jello and strawberries and make it red. <laughs> yeah, I think blueberries would be better. Sorry, <laughs> I love blueberries. Anyway, <laughs> who doesn't want That's the orange nice. and blue together? That's really nice. But really nice piece. It doesn't have any damage to it at all. Just Gorgeous. a nice piece of glass. And it yeah. does go down all the way. Like you can see in there how far, how far down it goes. So you can put, I mean, even if you want to just put it to put like paint brushes in or your toothbrush or your pens, it's deep enough. It'll hold those things and they won't topple out, which I think is really fun too. If you have a blue bathroom, that'd be kind of cute with Q-tips in it. Mm-hmm. I think it'd but be if cute. there's oh I didn't give you a measurement I'm gonna give you a measurement real quick and then I'll shut up about it. <laughs> so it is 
just under four inches tall. That's a gold sole. Uh, yep, that'll work. <laughs> but we will pass on that, and I'll set it to the okay. bottom. That was my two. Thank you, guys. Okie dokie. And Jen, you can tell all the stories you want. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my next one. This is a Indiana 1960s frosted powder horn stein. And this is frosted. I'll back up at least you can see it. There's no chips or cracks. It is not marked Indiana glass, but I know it is. Um, this was in the back of my mother-in-law's closet. We're not sure why it was back there. We're not sure like she was saving it for something or because normally her glassware was in her kitchen. So why this was in the closet, I don't know, but it's out of the closet now. Um, Cause I, I don't know why, you know, it was like, we don't know. So, um, but yeah, it's a powder horn or I guess you could say it's a cornucopia if you wanted to do it that way, but it's supposed to be a powder horn. Um, it is $5 starting at $5. It is eight inches tall. The opening is about three inches across. So I don't know if you have a man's man that you want to do a Father's Day gift for and he collects glassware. This would be a great gift. Um, if you wanted to put it this way and put some things in it, put some color somehow in it. Because it just doesn't have, she drank the beer after you left. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about like mom. <laughs> yeah, this would have been my mother-in-law's and we just, we've been going through her things and finding stuff and this was in the back glass. We don't know why, but. Um, it does have a nice ridge to it. Um, one ridge, then two ridge, and then these gallops. Yes, dear, it would look good with dark beer in it. Um, but it's in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks. So it's Indiana glass, 1960s frosted powder horn glass stein. All right. My second one is a choice. This is going to start at $3. You have a choice. We have got this chicken and piggy salt and pepper shaker. Now the cute part is the chickens, the chicky, I don't know if it's a salt or pepper, but he sits on top of the piggy. So if you have a kid country <laughs> kitchen, you can have the piggy sit on top of the, or the chicken sit on top of the pig, a rooster chicken or rooster sit on top of the piggy they're in good shape this one has a stopper this one does not I don't know why um but I'm sure we you you know I'm sure if I looked I could find a stopper I don't know if it'll fit but but anyway I just thought this was the cutest especially if you have a country kitchen um it is very colorful no chips no cracks that I could find and no crazing that's the first choice or for the same country kitchen, put it the right way, a, a large doily that's got a rooster, the two chickens, and then the baby chicks at the bottom. Uh, but it does have a stain. Uh, let me see if I can get it in there. There's a stain right there. There's a couple spots of staining on that side. I don't know what that is. But one or the other, starting at $3 choice. So you got the rooster, the mamas, the hens, and the baby um, chicks. And this is a pretty large size. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. About 20 inches. About 20 inches. So it's a nice, nice square, 20 by 20. So if you have a country kitchen, this is vintage. It's it's the um, edges are in good shapes. Just got those stains on that one side, those spots. All right. So either or. That would look really cute in like your kitchen window. If you have a small kitchen window, have that. Even if you had to put two little curtains of drapes around each side and just put that in the center. That yeah, curtain so rings cute. or something. Yep. Yeah, even if you, I mean, you could, you could hook hook a curtain ring in there or I guess you could even put it, you know, fold it yeah, over and sew it and put a rod on it. Yeah. 
Yep. That's the really only, like cute. I said, the only boo boo, and I still loved it, even with the boo boo, was the little brown spots on there. But again, like you said, if you fold that over just a little bit, <coughs> that'll probably can... come out with some OxyClean. Yeah, I didn't try. I didn't do anything to it because I ha didn't have time. So yeah, probably would with OxyClean. I didn't mess with it because I just I had just gotten it. So. So either the chicken rooster um, doily type piece or this cute piggy with his rooster sitting on him. That's so funny. <laughs> I know. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I just wouldn't know like which one. So well, I guess it's by the holes, but even if you got rid of him and just put him out, he is so cute. It reminds so. me of my cat that wants to sit on top of everybody and everything. That's okay. I wouldn't mind a kid. I wouldn't mind that kitty. Oh, you say Nina, that. did you hear we got a new kitty? I did. Did you hear? Yeah. Yeah, she's finally starting to get used to the house, and she's actually sleeping a little bit by my side now. So it's like, woohoo, we're getting there. Does she hide right. a lot, like try to stay away from everybody? Or she kind well, of. Well, yeah, activated. she, because she's blind. She kept uh, bumping into the other cats, trying to figure out her, her map. And so then they'd hiss and freak out and then she'd freak out. So it was like, but no, she's starting to get it. They're hissing less, but now she's figured out how to get on the bed. So she's like, mm, mom's up here. I know how to get attention. So yeah, she's it's doing good. Now. <laughs> yeah, she's getting there, but oh boy. <laughs> All right, we will flip it back to Oh, that Tina. was okay. So this is new old stock from the 1950s. I'll show you the box that it's in. So the box has got some discoloration, but this is original from the 50s, and it is a pink. It's plastic, but it is a pink plastic vanity set. Oh, cool. So you get all of the vanity, like to put your cotton swabs or cotton balls or whatever in. So you get these three. And they do have no lids. problem, homeschool, Lou. Here's the lids. The lids are still wrapped up in the plastic. As you see, the plastic is kind of falling apart because it's a little old, <coughs> but they are still wrapped up in the plastic. I'm going to get one out to try to show you what the lid looks like. Like I said, the plastic is falling apart. It is so old and brittle at this point. But this is the little acrylic lid that goes on. And there's lid for each one of them. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, $10 start. You can yell at me. It's okay. I don't I don't get upset. <laughs> $10 start. And you get two this size with the lids. And then the tall one that has the lid like this. And it's got the tray that goes underneath. And I'm going to try to get out because it is wrapped in plastic as well. And it's like going to fall apart. So let me try to get it out of this plastic. So it's got oh, the, wow. tray, the two little things that sit up here to hold your stuff. And then this larger one. And these have lids as well. I just didn't take them out of the plastic. So you get all wow. these pieces. $10 start. And it is new old stock. It was never used. Matches our bathroom. That pink color. Yeah. The little color you love so much. <laughs> I like it. I'm telling you, I was like, I've seen the 50s bathrooms with all the pink tile and all that. And I'm just like, and I get That's so, I freak out so bad when people start tearing that tile out. I'm like, no. No, me too. My husband's like, tear it out. I'm like, no. So this is kind of when they started going into that modern kind of atomic look, as you can see from the shape uh -huh. of it, it's yeah. got like that bottom on it. So they started kind of getting into more of that atomic look, which I think yeah. is really cool. But like I said, and it's cool that it's brand new. new. Brand new. Yeah, that's pretty crazy that it's still brand new. Yeah, somebody, they probably got it as a gift or something and just, just never took it out of the box. touched it, yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> they stashed it in their closet with the beer mug and forgot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they put it back there and went, I don't remember that. But it all comes in the original box, like I said. But if there is no... <laughs> As a console. 
classic old soul, you have a doggy that's blind? I have two kitties that are blind. Yeah, they they yell at me all the time. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get upset by it, so uh, everybody knows I just I just do what I'm told. It's like okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> you say so. Sounds good. So we will pass on that. I'm gonna put That's a really cool, there. awesome piece though. I'll get it back in the box later. I'll put it over here like that. <laughs> No, that one's really cool though. And I next like I have, how did I manage to get that on my screen? I don't even know where that came from. I don't even know what this is. This is some kind of weird thing off to the side of the screen that's telling me to do stuff to the computer. I don't even know what that is. It's okay. like a programming language popped up on the side of my window. I'm just sitting there going, ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know it's what that is. language altogether. I don't speak computer. I don't either. Don't you okay. hate that when it does stuff and you're like, do, what do I do? What do I do? Do I touch it? Do I not touch it? I don't, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Well, that's like when we were talking about yesterday in the chat and I was sitting there going, everybody's always like, you can, you know, like I'm at these cells and I can't see anything. Everybody's always like, just turn your light on your cell phone. I forget I have a light on my cell phone. <laughs> I'm old. I don't think about it having a light on it. It's just like right. I make holes on. And so it's like, and then when I turn it, like, if it does get turned on, like, in my purse or something, I can't figure out how to turn it off. Like, I'm going mashing <laughs> it. That's, like, that's okay. That's like okay. This. I need, like, I need, like, the 1980s brick phone. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> that would be I'm always telling my thing. husband, teach this, explain this to me, teach this to me. And he does. And then I'm like, too Two days later wait how do i do this what do i do teach it to me he just shakes his head he's like you're never gonna get it i'm no, like I yeah i know it. yeah so for my next yeah, item going. it'll be a two dollar start and it's this fun vintage kitchen capers cookbook look oh. at the guy on the cover i love look him, at him so much yeah and it, it's up. got all kinds of fun recipes it was originally Cute. done in 1960, and they reprinted it in 1970. So this is a 1970, uh, published by Volunteer Services Southbury Training School in Southbury, Connecticut. Cool. So you've got your appetizers, bread and roll. Ooh, bread and rolls. That sounds good. Cake I'll take that. <laughs> Casseroles, desserts, meats, poultry, salads, seafood, soups, vegetables. And very special from the men. Oh, I got to go to that section. I want to see what the men have. 87. Baked shoestring potatoes. Baked stuffed quahogs. What? Oh, that's like clams. Baked stuffed quahogs. <laughs> <laughs> my husband just said, is the clams anatomically correct? I'm like, oh my goodness. It does not say, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, so you're okay. safe. You're okay. safe. It doesn't say. All right. Barbecue chicken, barbecue ground beef, bar barbecue or saute onions, barbecue sauce. Men like their barbecue. Apparently. Ooh, now I'm I'm down for this. Broiled stuffed lobster. Yes, please. All day, I every can't. day, seven days a week. I can't. I'm allergic to shellfish. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm allergic to all that stuff. Gosh, I love Clam, shrimp, stuff. lobsters, you name it. But, I'll eat her share. but yeah, he always eats my share. If we go somewhere and they have it, he'll just eat it and I'll just have a salad or bread or something. Oh, that's horrible. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know what lobster tastes like. I haven't been able to have it. Okay, now this sounds like, not to put the man down, but this does sound like a man's recipe. I'm just going to say. <laughs> Frankfurter hash. 12 frankfurters, <laughs> little potatoes, onions, shortening, bean, green peppers, tomatoes, salt, and pepper. Eh. <laughs> Would green, you eat that? Green oh, see, my rice. husband said he would. What? Green rice. I wonder if it was supposed to be green or if they just screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> My husband says, just leave your white rice out long enough. It'll turn green. Then you're done. Exactly. That's exactly. how they came up with the recipe. 
But anyway, it's just a fun book. That's that funny. On it. And it does have some actually good recipes in there, too, if you skip the men's section in the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, just go straight to the bread section, because that's the that's best. That's me, too. Bread. Don't you? Oh, I love rolls and breads and pretzels and and just, oh, now oh my see, gosh. I've been wanting to make this. I need to use this recipe and see if it works out. Brown bread. I love brown bread. Oh my gosh. Really? Love brown bread. Really? And I wanted to make it and I haven't made it before. That sounds really good though. So I may have to make that. So anyway. Is that what your dad likes? There's some bread your dad likes. Oh, mom? Mom. Okay. It was this mom that really loved it. Okay. Oh, got it. It's so good. It's got molasses in it. So it's just got like that little hint of sweetness too. It's not sweet, but it's got that hint of sweetness and it's so good with some melted butter. Oh, so good. It's like a whole so meal. Amy wants to know what brown bread is and classic old soul is in for two bucks. Oh, I oh, wouldn't count it down. Brown bread has got like, you use whole wheat flour and you use molasses and you use instant coffee in it. So of course I really? like it because it's got coffee in it. But it is so good. Oh my gosh. It is just like the best bread ever. <laughs> I've never ever. heard of it. So Which good. I know your mom liked it. Oh, yeah. All right, going once. Going twice. Da 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 da. Sold to Classic Old Soul. Thank you. That's why I put it over the top, the barbecue Frankfurters. I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> they sound gross. I'm sorry. But I'm not a big hot dog person. I don't eat hot dogs at all. Not at yeah, all. They... <laughs> but that was my two. All right. Hi, everybody. Okay. So my next one is this beautiful cake plate. Yes, it does glow. I believe that's the princess pattern on there. Um, it does have a few ouchies. There, oh, start at eight dollars. There's a rough spot here, and I know there was one other rough spot. If I can find it, maybe it doesn't. Oh, there it is. Is that the same one? No, rough spot that's here. They're rough. <laughs> no, there's one here. It's a rough spot here okay. and a rough spot here. They're not full like cracks. Well, this one might be. Alexa, turn off basement lights. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this thing, but it glows like crazy. Oh, we're going to turn that off. Okay. Yeah. It glows like crazy. Um, and it's that neon green glow. So it really does have a nice glow to it. Um, like I said, the one is probably a chip. This is probably a chip. This one just feels like a rough spot to me. But $8 start. It is quite big. It would be perfect for spring, for a cake, or there's so many other things you can do with this. 10 inches. 10 inches this way to this way. 11 inches with the handle. Handles are in good shape. It's got the three feet on the bottom for balance. But I mean, I can see you using this for all sorts of stuff. You don't have to just use it for cake. Even if you serve like, you know, cupcakes on it or whatever. But for spring, this would be gorgeous on somebody's table. So, and just so you know, the two spots that are rough, I don't think I find them again. They're hard to find. There's the one. So the other one's got to be here. Um, Thanks, they're not Linda. sharp. I'll look they're not sharp. To that. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be doing some cooking? Oh, I can't wait, Linda. I'm so excited. So nobody wants me to ever cook. Just FYI, <laughs> you ever come to visit me, I take you to a restaurant. I grew up with someone who didn't cook. Yeah. And so when I married him and he was a bachelor all the time, he's like, oh, I cook. I, I love to cook. I'm like, all right. So he does the cooking in the house because if I did the cooking in the house, it would literally be frozen pizza, macaroni and cheese and frozen microwave meals. So... If you ever come visit, come on over. I'd love to have you, but we're going out for dinner. Just um, FYI. <laughs> or you're or you're going to cook. Yeah. Don't ask me to cook. It, it would be bad. Okay, Christy Bean's in for eight. 
Anybody else interested? Christine, there's no chips or cracks along the bottom, just those two rough spots. And the one rough spot probably is a chip. But they're not rough. They're not like sharp or anything. But see if I can show it to you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Hot dog castle is green, right? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that is really but. All right. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> All right. Anybody else want to get in? Otherwise, we'll count this down for Christy. Christy going once. Ew, green beer. <laughs> Becky, that's it's me. I'm like frozen meals all the way. I know. Going twice. And sold. Thank you, Christy Bean. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna put that over there for safekeeping. And then my next one, this is gonna start at four because it has a boo-boo. But I still think it's so pretty. I had to pick it up. This is the Metlox Poppy Trails Lotus Flower um, Yellow Gravy Dish. And it, it's right here. Yeah, did I? I put it there. Um, I think it's beautiful. And I can see like doing all these different things with it. But there has a boo-boo. If I can find boo-boo. There it is. There's a little paint. Let's see if I can get that to focus. My yellow dishes ears. Sorry. Anyways, there's a little bit of paint loss right there. Um, trying to get it to show, but I don't think it will. Ooh, ooh, there you can see it. That little bit of paint loss right there. There it is. Otherwise than that, it's in excellent condition. So I'm starting it at $4. Um, that's the bat. That's the bottom. I just think for spring, there's so many different things you could do with this. One of the things I've seen on Pinterest that I want to do is where you take something like this and you slather it with peanut butter and you put the bird seed in and then you hang it so that they can they can sit in here and eat. The birdies can't. I want to do that in spring. But around here in Wisconsin, even though it's March, it ain't spring yet. Um, but I can give you measurements. Um, it is... Seven and a half inches from here to here, and three inches across. As I said, I did not find any other chips or cracks. I just think it's adorable and pretty. Bright, bright yellow, so perfect for spring and summer. Let's just get that little paint loss right there. That's it. Oh, hi, Joanne. Joanne, I haven't done your box, so that's perfect because I was going to do your box tonight. Joanne's in for four. Isn't this pretty? I love the coloring. And you can see the lotus flower, the veins in the lotus flower and everything. So I just think this is so cute. I just love it. Joanne's in for four. Is anybody else interested? Otherwise, I'll count it down to Miss Joanne. So good to see you, Joanne. Were you lurking? She's lurking. All right. <gasps> Where are you, classic old soul? I'll pack my bags and come. Arizona, maybe, yeah. Because I will tell you, we had like almost 70s, like a few days, like what, a week ago? And I'm like, woohoo, it's over 50, yay. And like two days later, we had like snow, like just coming down. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And it was like 23. Today it's like 30-ish, but it's like really gray. And no, it's more than that. Oh, it was 48 here. But it's like gray and cloudy and miserable outside. You would cook with your mom? Oh, in the slow cooker? I have a slow cooker. I want to learn how to use it. My husband has that Instapot. He's got all three sizes. Like he'll do the main meal and like, whoo. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining. It was snowing and raining mix earlier. It's yucky. So, Okay. We're going to count it down. Were we, do we count it down? I'm sorry. Um, Going sorry. twice. Sorry, Joanne. Sidetrack. <laughs> I love Joanne's puppy picture. And sold to Joanne. Thank you so, so much. Congratulations, Joanne. All right, this goes to Joanne. And that's my two. 
62 degrees and nice. 68 in Glendale, Arizona, having rain right now. Well, even 60 with rain, I would be better. Do you still have the salt and pepper? The piggy and the, the piggy one? Yes, ma'am. The piggy that the hen that sits on the piggy. Yes, ma'am, Patty, I do have it. The 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 hen or chicken has its stopper. This one doesn't. Would you like that one for three dollars, Patty? All right, Patty, you let me know. All right, we're flipping. Oh, I already flipped. Hi, Gina. Sorry. <laughs> 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 like I said, I just kind of go with the flow. I don't care. Whatever. I love it. I love it. It's I love it. the worst that could happen, you know? Yeah. She exactly. wants you to show it again. So if you want to get oh, bring yourself back sure. in. Sure, bring me up. Flip me, me back. Up. Yes, you can. Flip, flip. See, this is why I have an executive producer. So, oh, did it go back? Oh, it did. I just have to wait for my computer to catch up. Come on. There it goes. All right. So... It's a salt and pepper. Come on, flippy flip. There we go. Whoa. And the chicken sits on top of the piggy. And she does have, I think it's a rooster, but it might be a hen. I don't know. It's really cute. And then there's the spot where they sit together. The only thing is it does not have a stopper on this one. But I saw no chips or cracks. I thought it was very cute. I just thought it was cute, so I had to pick it up. Yes, please. Okay, Patty, it's yours. Thank you, Patty. All right, Patty gets this one. Yep, for three dollars, the piggy with the with the chicken. I don't know. Is this a chicken or a rooster? I don't know. Yes, it does matter. Oh, you're terrible. Stop it. Okay, flipper, flip, flip. Put Gina back up. I know you got to flip again. I got you, Patty. I gotcha. All right. Thanks, Patty. All right. Here we go. All right. So next item is going to be this. It's a piece of abalone shell that somebody has, you know, they cut out and they carved it in a way to make it into a brooch, yes. which I think is beautiful. <gasps> oh, wow. Let's see if I can get it to focus. That would be nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Hi, Janice. So this will be a $6 start oh, and it $6 does have the start. safety clasp on the back right there. So, you know, you can roll that over the rollover clasp. Gina, you said six, right? I did. Okay. Just checking. He's pretty. Yeah. Wow. I love the natural shell. I mean, just look at the colors in there and that's from nature. I mean, I love purple. I love on. the purple in there. <laughs> I always see stuff like this and I'm like, if that doesn't prove God knew what he was doing, I don't know what does. I know. I know. It's just, it's just so pretty. It's just natural artwork. I don't know how mm -hmm. to describe it. Yep, I agree. I love it. And it is about two and three quarter inches long and not quite one and a half. Well, about one and a half inches tall. So just a beautiful little brooch. It gives you a lot of color. If you don't like to wear brooches, guys, you can always wear these like in your hair too. Like as like a little hair accessory, whatever. Not you, you want you're to a do. boy. You can put them on a hat. You can do, put them on a bag, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't even wear most of my brooches. I would look pretty on a black hat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I just think it's really pretty. I do too. That's gorgeous. And I could see that on a black on a black coat and a black lady's coat or a black hat. Yep. Because of the coloring it has on there. That would really shine. Really look nice. But if there's no pity, pity. we will pass on that one. And All right. the next is going to be a $14 start and you get two pieces. Ooh. And they are two really nice pieces, guys. These are French Limoges. You get the cracked, let me rewind, cracked egg vase. There we go. Oh, pretty. 
I sold one of those recently. It wasn't Limoges, but it was so gorgeous. I love the painting on those. Aren't they amazing? Like, I love the painting. Yeah, this one's got like a, I don't know if it's a pheasant or if it's like a stylized peacock. I think it's a pheasant. Right, classic old saw, a black fedora for that pin would have been awesome. That's you got beautiful. all that gold work that's been hand laid on there. These are all hand painted. Really nice gorgeous. porcelain. It is marked French uh, Limoges, France on the bottom, right there. Gorgeous. And then it has a matching little dish to go with it. That's a leaf. So you get both pieces for one Ooh, money. Oh, Roxanne, I like that idea. Oh, that's pretty. Hi, oh, Roxanne. Welcome to the group. Seat, Roxana. I like that idea. Like, so you would take something like this, like what I had my, um that like chicken... Like this thing, that chicken thing, and then use it, put pins on. Oh, that's a cool idea. I like that. So you could have like a whole collection displayed that way. Yeah, you could totally display them. So this is, it's not kind of wanting to focus because of my lighting probably. It's got the same exact pattern on it. So Becky, the picture here looks like a hummingbird. No, I think it's a ring neck pheasant, I think is what she said. Yeah, I think it's a pheasant. It showed up better on the egg Yeah, egg. there it looks like a ring neck pheasant. It's the pheasant. same bird, it's just I can't get it to focus really good for some reason. I know, isn't it hard to get it to, my, my camera too, I have a great camera, but to get it to focus sometimes is like the hardest thing. And I try to be patient with it, but I'm not a very patient person. So. <laughs> you and me both, Gina. I can admit my downfall, you know? Oh, I'm the same way. I get antsy. You know, I'm like, let's go have some fun. Let's go do something. Yep. All right. So now I've got that one in focus. Let me try to put the other one up there so you can see it at the same time. There we go. There we go. That's pretty. That's a pretty set. And you, like they put the veining in the dish. You see? You can see yeah. Like, you can see it. Yeah. yeah. It's really, it's a really, really quality nice set. It is Limoges. And it's got the three little feet that's all been hand painted. And the gold is still on it. Gold isn't rubbed yep. off anywhere. Wow. The gold is brushed on this one. So really Beautiful. nice. Two little pieces for you to display together. Make like a whole little setup here. Yeah, that's An instant beautiful. Collection. Instant collection. I'll give you a quick minute. Love it. Love it. it. Uh, the egg. Okay, let me find the highest point of the egg. Uh, I think it's this, maybe not. I don't know. Close enough. It is about three inches tall, and the leaf dish is about four and a half inches wide. I've never had pheasant, classic old soul. Have I ever had pheasant? I don't, I don't think, think I've so. ever had it either. There's a pheasant farm down by where my daughter lives. Hey, Chad. Jamesville. But yeah, no. Hi, Chad. Retro days. Hi, bud. Welcome in. Welcome in. But if there's no interest on these two, we will pass on them. And okay. Okie dokie. So my first one. I love her. I think she's pretty. She is a Bradley. She's a vintage Bradley. She is starting at $12. She still has her tag. Her Bradley tag, it says International Elegance, but she does have a boo-boo. You can see some brown staining in her ruffles. There's a spot there, and there's a spot in here. But I mean, overall, oh, there's a little spot there. So there's a couple little brown spots, but beyond that, she is gorgeous. Um, She's got nail polish on her fingers. She's got her beautiful choker. Her hair is perfect. And of course, she's got her beautiful hat on. She has got her um, Kremlin underneath. No, oh, Stephen, stop. She's got her Kremlin underneath. I'm not checking her anatomical anything. Um, she does have Adeline is her name. I don't know if I can show it that, but it says Adeline. It's got the shoes with it. Um, she's just beautiful. And she is starting at $12. Um, I love the floral pattern on here. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, she just would make a, just a beautiful piece. 
in your um in your night you know your shelving or she's just too pretty to just put in a box and keep put away so i brought her i wanted to show her off her face is just beautiful the only thing i found was those few little spots on her ruffle i'll try to and i have not tried to take these off the ruffle so this it may it almost looks like foundation makeup so i'm wondering if it'll come off like if she was on a dresser and that looks like foundation makeup but otherwise she is just i think she's so pretty like you know like when i wear my renaissance dress i've got that poofy butt too but hers is bigger than mine i don't have this big of a poofy butt but <laughs> but um she's just so pretty i just love her so twelve dollars $12. And I think that's a really good price when you see them out there. Um, I did lower the price because of this. Like I said, I really think that this is foundation makeup and that this will come off. I just haven't messed with it. Do you see the spots there? Maybe I can, there you can see the spots in the ruffles. So, all right. So that's my first one. Um, she does, she is pretty tall and shipping her. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want anything to happen to her, her dress, but she is with the hat, almost 14 inches tall. Did the chicken sell Janice, which chicken? Are you talking the chicken salt and pepper shaker? That's sold. I have the chicken, um, like doily lace square. Are there any other chickens we showed tonight, Gina? I don't think so. I'm not sure. But if I you're talking about the chicken. chicken salt and pepper shaker, it did sell. All right. So she's beautiful. She's my first one. She's not, um, $12. Now, my second one is choice. There is two of them. These were made for me. These were mine when I was in interpreting school. So the first one... It's got these floral, like, bugs, lightning, I don't know. And then it's got the alphabet and sign language. These are starting at 30. These are lap quilts. And then there's an elephant there. I don't know why they put an elephant, but it's all pinks and blues and neon greens. And it has the entire alphabet. And then... I think at the bottom it's got the other elephant, um, but it has the entire American Sign Language alphabet. On the back is a fabric of, come on, of ballerinas. So this one, $30 start. I don't have any um, stains or anything on this one that I found. These were in my collection. Yep, Janice, that one sold. The salt and pepper shaker sold. This is the other one starting at 30. And this also was when I was in college going through interpreting school. This was also given to me. And this one's got the American red, white, and blue bears on it, which makes more sense to me because then you've got the little red, white, and blue bear there. You've got the American Sign Language alphabet all the way through. It goes all the way. And then you've got an American bear in the one. Oh, no, you don't. It, it all fit. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, that is the pattern. On the back, it says, God bless America. And it's a striped pattern. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, this one, I'm five foot. So I'd say this is at least four feet. Probably four by three, maybe. Four by three, and the other one's probably about the same. So they're $30 each start. If you celebrate the 4th of July, this would be great for decorating during the 4th of July and also having the American Sign Language alphabet on it. The other one I would say is more like for a little girl. It's a lot of pinks, uh, bright blues, fuchsias. I would say this one's probably, yeah, four by three or four by three and a half. So 
I just don't need them anymore. I mean, I have plenty of blankets and things. And I know my sign language alphabet. I use it every single day. So. Yep, classical soul. The hen on the nest. That was the salt and pepper shakers. Oh, on a nest. No, that's upstairs. Oh, yeah, that I just got. I haven't even gotten to it yet. Um, So I've got those two $30 start. If you want exact measurements, let me know. Um, they are the, um, the American sign language alphabet on there is hand stitched or is uh, machine stitched, machine stitched, but the outside edges and everything is hand stitched. All right. That's my two. We'll take it back over to Gina. Okay. So next up I have this really fun little elephant. It is an artisania piece made in Uruguay. So it's like a stoneware. Oh, um, is he cute? And he's got the little baby kind of hiding under mama right there. Oh, is that adorable? So this one is going to be a $6 start. Oh, classical soul. No worries. Absolutely no worries. Not a problem. And as you see, the tusk and his little toenails are glazed. And then the baby's cute. little toenails are glazed. Oh, is that cute? And the rest of them, you know, is the rough texturing that they do with this kind of pottery. That looks almost like a stone critter. Yeah, it's Very artisania. Similar. Yeah. They make these in Uruguay. Um, Very adorable. This one is not marked, but I know that it is. I didn't say a marking on it anyway. I know that it is because my mother-in-law collected these ever since I knew her. <laughs> For years and years and years and years and years. Oh, you know, cool. I, I don't know how that works out since I'm only, you know, like 20 years old, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. If you're 20 years old, I'm like 15. That's awesome. I'll take it. I know. I, I'm, I'm liking this method. I, yeah. I, I think we should. I always say it. I'm 29.99. $29.99 is <laughs> some change. Ronnie's in for six. Ronnie, that's a cute elephant. I love it. Why Just love know, it. Four inches tall. No damage at all. Just really no, sweet. Oh, but cute. I sweet love that. Cute. The thing I liked about it was the baby. Look at the baby just sticking out from there, like hiding behind the legs. I just love I know. that. Just, that's it so reminds cute. me of little kids. You know, when your kids are little and they hide behind your legs when yep. you are in the door or something. That's what it reminded me of. <laughs> yeah. That is a sweet and adorable. All right, we can count it down. Well, Ronnie, then you've got, you got a good one. Going once for Ronnie. Going twice. Yay, sold to Ronnie. She loves Yay. elephants, it's perfect. Yay, congratulations. That's a great piece. 21 and legal. Yeah, me too, classic old soul, me too. Don't laugh. <laughs> I'm pushing it. <laughs> okay, so for my second item, I've got two mugs that match each other. I think they're beautiful. Again, this is some kind of hand-thrown pottery that's been decorated. Uh, it's going to be $12 for the two start. They're being sold together. I agree, so Becky, it was. Oh, the pretty. Birds on now them. there's your hummingbird, Becky. Oh, is that beautiful? Thank you for these the bids, are, Ronnie. These You'll are, like yeah, that elephant. Thank you so much. These are in like new condition. I mean, look at the Those bottom. Those are gorgeous. Of them. Wow. So you get two of these in the set. I just think they're beautiful. I do too. I'll give you proof of life so you know that there are two. There is two. I just can't hold them both at the same time without dropping. <laughs> I totally understand that. These are beautiful, beautiful mugs. And I like that it's got the blue and then you got some different tones of brown in there. And then you got the like lavender color in the flowers. And then you got the colors on the little hummingbirds there. I think they're so pretty. I think these would just be pretty sitting somewhere together. I, I do too. Beautiful. Those um, are just nice, just beautiful. 
and they're not tiny. I mean, these are four and a quarter inches tall and across the mouth is about three inches. But they do get more bulbous as they go down too. So mm -hmm. I'd say you could probably get a good 10, 10 ounces of coffee in here. Nice. Yeah, those are nice. Beautiful. Somebody loves hummingbirds. Those would make a great Mother's Day gift or East, well, or Easter. But if you have a mom who loves hummingbirds, that would make a beautiful Mother's Day gift. They're gorgeous. And I know they are uh, studio pottery, like hand thrown studio pottery. Because when I researched them, I found these online. And each one was selling, each one was selling for more than one I'm doing the set for. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. But if there's no. It's interest, amazing what pottery goes for. I'm, I'm always surprised when yeah, I see pottery it prices. Is. I mean, it's highly collectible. Plus right. it's utilitarian. You can use it, which is, I think is great. We like have a place called, <laughs> is it Roll Pottery in Cambridge? Or yeah, in Cambridge, we have like a roll pottery or something. And oh my goodness, beautiful stuff. But <laughs> I'd have to take out a mortgage to afford it. Yeah, some of it is. Some of it's very expensive. All right, we will pass if there's no interest. Those Thank are beautiful. Guys. Um, Was that, that two? Was yep, sure was. Oh, she's quick. Oh, wow. That was fast. Okay. Now, I don't normally sell books on my show, but I I love cats. You guys know that. And I found this again. This was my mother-in-law's. We found it in her stash. And I was like, I'm bringing it to my show because I know the girls will love it. It's called The Zodiac Feline Star Cats. It's a hardcover book. There is some damage to the dust jacket here, but it's not damage to the actual book. This is starting at $6.00. There is the inside. It talks about star cats. And it's the feline zodiac. So it goes through all the kitties. I love that picture. The shooting star with the kitten. Oh. I love the illustrations in this book. They're just beautiful. Even if you don't like look, read the, if, even if you don't read the, the horoscope part, I mean, you just look at those pictures. They're just so beautiful. I love that one too. So this goes through and it's just got beautiful pictures of the kitties. And then it goes through each of the, um, the, um, you know, Scorpio cancer gives the dates and what that means for a kitty cat. Like if your kitty was born in that month, love this one too. So it is hardcover. It is an excellent condition. Here's the, the signs for each of the Zodiacs. About the author. So the cover, the dust jacket does have the picture, but so does the cover of the book. And like I said, the cover of the book is fine. Just that dust jacket has some wear on the bottom. But I just think this is beautiful. $6. Start. This one on the back. That is my first one. Now this is a larger size book, so it could be used as a coffee table book, but it's not that thick. But there was no damage to the book. I just love the pictures in the book. I think they're beautiful. So if you're interested, let me know. My second one is an old vintage Boyd. It does not have its hang tag anymore. It is a kitty cat, but it does have its old printed tag and it does say Boyd on it. It says nine. Let's see, cat 1987. And so this is the kitty cat. She's got, does she got green eyes? I thought she had, yeah, she does have green eyes. I thought she had yellow eyes. She's got green eyes in there and she's got a cute tail. She is also starting at $6. She is an older Boyd's. Um, 87, I think I said. So she is an older Boyd, 
she does have the the tag but no tush tag like they do now and no hang tag but she's got a cute little pink nose cute little pink ribbon um she is let's see here with the tail but with the tail about 12 inches with the tail about 12 inches she's perfect for an easter basket if you have a little girl who likes kittens and she wants a real one and you say no you can put this in the basket to cover yourself um the ears have like a leather feel a velvety feel to them um otherwise if you just like kitties this is just an older vintage void that's just adorable there's no damage to it it's very soft and clean i hear puppy <laughs> she was like ah that's okay i love the pups um center seam is here on the back is jointed all the joints do work except the head head is not jointed but the arms and the legs are jointed so that's six dollars she's in there she's hiding it's like her little eyes are hiding but all right so those are my two thank you so much for looking everybody well hopefully he's done barking so we'll see what kind of doggy is it gina i don't know it's some kind of beast that my daughter brought home <laughs> a beast your daughter brought home. <laughs> love it love it love it love it <laughs> he is like larger than a german shepherd holy smokes not as large as a wolf <laughs> oh my gosh i mean he's That's a big, big he's dog insane. He is huge. I think yeah. he's got some wolf in him, like a certain percentage, because he's big. He sounds big. I mean, like he jumps up on me and he knocks me down easily. Easily. Wow. And does he look like does he look like a he's a puppy? He's a puppy. Oh so. holy smoke. So like is he gonna get bigger? I hope not. Oh but my probably. goodness. I mean his paws are like this. I mean <gasps> they're huge so so is he like a german shepherd or a malamoy or you guys we, just don't even don't, know we don't know he was stranded on the side of the road he was oh. nearly run over in traffic my daughter stopped <gasps> and grabbed him he jumped in her car and he's like yay take me home <laughs> adopt me in my house so <laughs> that's where he is now he's a sweet dog but he barks at every he's a great guard dog like oh, yeah. nobody is coming within a mile of my house without him telling me. So I don't have to worry about that. But oh, that's nice. He barks constantly is the problem. Oh, so. well, give him he a hug and kiss from me. He doesn't I don't mind the barking bark at, at all. At, not to bark at. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind the barking at all. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, he's a mess. And the bad part <laughs> is like, he literally like, I can't leave any food of any kind out because I don't know where you put it on the counter. He can get to it because if he gets up on his back legs, he's taller than I am. So he wow. just leans over the counter and grabs whatever he wants. I'm like, so, so you got a horse pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. A wow. Furry horse, a very, very furry horse. <laughs> a very, and very furry horse. Solid black. Hi I mean, Chris. Welcome in. He is just solid black. black. Okay, so then maybe Long he's. Hair. Well, I mean, German shepherds can be solid black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's I've had some. Man. I've seen some big German shepherds that are solid black, but he's big. Like my daughter works with a guy that has, um, like dogs that are like half uh, wolf, and he's not quite as big as they are. But then again, they're full grown, and he's not. So yeah, if he's a puppy, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell your. It's like my daughter is like me. If she sees an animal, she's going to be like, oh, I must protect it. So. <laughs> you don't know anybody like that, do you, husband dear? No, my son, <laughs> Gina. So I'm in May. I'm going on a trip. And my son, instead of telling me, mom, be careful, mom, enjoy your trip. You know what my son says before anything? He says, mom, you're on a t guided tour. If you see anything fuzzy, you are not allowed to leave your tour group. 
I don't want to find out you got arrested in some country chasing some animal. So mom, I love you, but stay away from the furry things. That's what he said to me. <laughs> I, like I, have been, I have nearly been run over in the road so many times. Yep. Because, you know, in Florida, there's no telling what you're going to find. And there's been so many times there's been like a tortoise trying to cross the road or something. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm the same way. Yep. And I stop traffic, yep. like put my car in park, yep. turn the flashers on, jump out of my car like a moron <laughs> and run out there and pick up this humongous tortoise. It's like this big that I can't even lift. And I'm like grabbing it by the shell and I'm like trying to walk yep. it across the road. That's there. something I would do. That's something I would do. Yep. And my husband, or I'll say, honey, it's a snapping turtle. You do it. Because we have snapping turtles out here. So I'm like, oh, it's in the road. You got to save it. He's like, that thing bites. I'm like, I don't care. Go save it. My husband's like, oh my gosh, Angie, it'll be fine. I'm like, no, it's in the road. So I'll make my husband go do it because I'm afraid to get bit. And he'd be like, seriously, Angela, it's going to be okay. And I'm like, no, you have to save it. And he just, my husband puts up with so much with me. Like, yeah. Well. Ooh, I, Becky I, wonders I, it's I a Bernese mountain dog. Uh, maybe. Are they black? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe me too. Yeah, I've never been run over, but I have darted in into traffic for a cat. Yep. I Why? drove what, a twice with, in my car. Yep, twice I sure spooky. Did Santa. <laughs> yep. I had one of my kitties that lives with me now 14, but back when he was four months and he crossed a street to get to my house because he followed me all the way home and he's sitting in my front yard and I'm like you followed me all the way home so I opened my front door and I'm like do you want to come live with us and the gray kitten just boom 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 came into the house plopped his butt on my on my sofa and I'm like well I guess we have a gray cat now well I went out one day never left I've got he's 14 now we've got like a pretty busy road down here and I had just pulled out onto the road and this car in front of me was driving really fast. He had come by and I pulled out behind him and he was driving like really fast. This little dog ran out in front of him, <gasps> got hit oh. and he just kept on driving. Well, of course I slam on the brakes. I'm on my brakes. I'm jumping out of the car. I don't even have it in park yet. I'm jumping out of the car trying to rescue this dog. These people are yelling at me. I'm yelling back at them. I'm like on the phone trying to call somebody, all this kind of stuff to try to rescue this poor little dog. Did he and survive? He did it. It wouldn't make it. Uh, but, but I stayed there with him. Like I held him on the side of the road until he passed because I couldn't just. Leave I'm, him I'm the like same him. way. I'm but, the same way. I will stay with them. I will. My I my poor so husband. <laughs> So oh, mad. I would be too. I'd be so mad. I would, I just, I freak out whenever I see an animal. I was going to work one morning and I have to be to work at a specific time. And there's this dog in the road and I opened up my car door. I said, get your butt in here. You cannot be in the road. <laughs> and the dog just gets in my car and I'm like, okay, now what do I do? I have to get to work. So I called the veterinarian clinic that I take my animals to. And I'm like, are yeah. you open yet? And she's like, no. But she knows me. So I'm like, okay, I got this lost dog with me. And he just jumped in my car and I got to get to work. She goes, can you stop by? I'll take him and then I'll find out what's going on. So then um, you can show it, go pop it up. Can they still hear me if I talk? You don't know how to. Okay. So anyway, so like I dropped the dog off and I went to work. Well, at the end of the day, the veterinarian clinic called me and they're like, we have a pie, a cherry pie sitting here for you. Apparently... This owner has been looking for this dog forever Aww. and you return this dog to its, its owner. The owner's thrilled and made you a cherry pie. So come pick it up. <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> so we had pie that night for dinner or after That's dinner. Awesome. Oh, there's the Burmese mountain dog. Is that what it, is that what it looks like? Jenna or Gina? It's or much it... hairier than that. And it has no brown or white. It's solid black. Solid black, mm. more hairy. Hmm. It's oh, like Tammy's like, hair. don't talk about these stories. Oh, the Tammy, it's okay. It is like, like all the hair on it reminds me of a German Shepherd. You know how kind of they had that, like almost like a mane around their face. He's I got bet you it's, a, I bet it's a black German Shepherd. It's probably a black German Shepherd. If it is, he's huge. He's yeah, the biggest. That, German that would make I've sense. Yeah, that would make sense. 
So We're sorry, Tammy, but we it, they're animals. We we start telling our animal stories. I know, Tammy Renee. I'll shut up. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I saved that one doggy. And then that one time we were driving, we found that pug, remember? That was running along the side of the road. That horrible, muddy driveway. Yeah, so we saved a pug too on the road. So yeah, if we see an animal on the side of the road we're, or, or, or in the street or anything, I'm all over it. All over well, when it. When I lived in Texas, I lived on the, you know, outside. Of I'm going to get hit by a car someday doing it, but I'll always be in the road, yeah. And, um... Like I did dog grooming for a while. I'm, you know, my husband was working. I did eBay and I did dog grooming at the same time to get out of the house kind of thing. Yeah. I had this older gentleman like show up to my door, like literally shows up to my door with two dogs. I'm like, what, what are you is doing going yeah. on here? And he's standing there with them on leashes. He's got like their dog food in his hand, everything else. And he hands me the leashes and he goes, I need you to take my dogs. I went, I don't what? even know you, sir. You know, right. <laughs> and he goes, well, a friend of mine told me that they used you for dog grooming and all this kind of stuff. That's where he got my information. Right. From. He was like, my wife passed away and these were her dogs and I can't take care of them. <gasps> and of, well, of course, now I'm going to take them. Exactly. So now I've got two I would too. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Now you're like, okay, now I'm committed. I know. It's like, okay. I mean, the dogs had already run in my house. They were like two little Shih Tzus. They'd already run in my house and was like so happy. And the guy's like, there. leave and me alone. Like, yeah. Oh, wow. And so I was just like, well, I guess they belong here now. And he was like, So okay, did you keep so them? I had to. You didn't find a home for them? I did eventually, finally. Okay, finally. good. Yeah. But the Shih Tzu like, should be a, adoptable. I mean, they're pretty good dogs. I mean, he just shows up to my like house and hands like, me leeches. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's really, really weird. But then, yeah, you're right. You got to be stuck with them. Like, I would not turn them down either. Yeah, I was I mean, at the, was like, was it? Say no. <laughs> yeah, we're interrupting this sales show to talk about animals. Um no. So the thrift okay. store that's down the road from me, like we were here, was that our first summer here, that uh -huh. gray kitten? So we're he so the lady's like, Oh, you like cats? And I'm like, Yeah. She's like, There's this gray kitten that's been eating out of our garbage in the back. I just fed him a donut. Oh and I was God. like, You fed a kitten a donut. Oh my gosh, that's just lovely. She's like, Well, we don't know what to do with it. So if somebody doesn't come and, and claim it or do something with it, we're just gonna go ahead and like get rid of it. And I did not even want to ask what get rid of it meant because I I was like already like, okay, you people don't know what you're doing. You're feeding a kitten a donut. And so then um, I'm like, okay, well, let me go take a look. So forget thrift store shopping. There's a stray cat. I'm going to go look. And this kitten like came right up to me and meowing and meowing. And I'm like looking it over. It had ear mites. It had fleas and all this. And I'm like, well, it, what are you guys going to do with it? She goes, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to do something. I, we can't keep it here. And I was like, I opened my car door. I'm like, I guess you're coming home with me, kitty. And the kitty crawled right in my car. I'm like, okay. So we brought it home. We can't mix it with our cats because it's a stray. We don't know right. if it's got FIP or whatever. So I gave it a flea bath, cleaned it up. And it lived in our garage for like, what, two weeks? About two weeks to live in a garage. And we're like, we're not getting attached. We're not getting attached. We do not need another animal. And then I talked to my friend, Arlene. God rest her soul. She just passed. But I'm like, hey, can your shelter take it? Because... We got to do something. And there's Roman. Can Okay, Roman's here. Can you show him that statue, please? He's going to love that. Anyway, so yeah, we ended up the first like month I was here in my new house. And we ended up, isn't that awesome, Roman? Oh my gosh, that is awesome. How much was that? 12? Uh, 15? 10. 10. 10. Isn't that awesome, Roman? I thought of you the minute I saw it. I mean, the detail on that figure is amazing. So yeah, so the first month we lived in this house, I had already rescued a stray cat from the thrift store down the street. And I have been living here for like a month. So yeah, I'm trying to not, not adopt anymore or not bring in any more strays. Anyway. I know Amy, and I was, I was happy that he brought them to me instead of just leaving them on the side of the road. It's true, Amy, like, yeah. I am such an easy touch. Even my kids will say, they're like, if we want an animal, all we have to do is let mom see it. And yeah. it's ours. They know. They know if right. I see something, I'm just going to be like, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, Roman wants it. I figured Ro I can give you Roman's information. Isn't okay, that gorgeous? Roman. I knew he'd like that. It's just too gorgeous. I will put you down for that. Thank you so much. And I can give you I can give you his information, Gina. All right, I guess we should start our, our sale again. I know. We got we got <laughs> My husband's there. like, what sale? You're talking about animals. That's all you do. <laughs> so thanks for coming to the animal chat, y'all. Yeah, thanks for talking about our pets and our animals and what we do on our in our spare time. Ooh, somebody hit a Canadian geese. Aww. Poor classic old soul. Yep, they'll do it. They'll do it. They'll get back into it. Yeah, don't, don't get it. Yeah. Hole. Oh gosh. You're welcome, Roman. I thought you like, ooh, that's pretty. I thought you'd like that figure. So I just wanted to drop you a line. All right. Beautiful. And now my dog. Hi, doggy. Leave All right. What do you want to start it at? Okay. So back to what we're doing. $10 start. Ooh, and pretty. I call this a Hi, pouch. Hi, Tammy. Thing. Welcome in, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. It reminds me of a pouch because. Yeah. Of it. But it's gorgeous color. It's kind of like a nice emerald kind of color. Yeah. That'd be really beautiful pretty. for spring with some spring flowers in it. Wow. $10 start. Just a nice, really well-made art glass piece. It does have a nice polished bottom on it. You see it, the reflection in it right there. That's just absolutely. Yeah. The nice polished bottom. Isn't and that like beautiful? Amy? I love it. It's got like, you know, this ribbing in there. So it looks like a pouch that, you know, like so somebody just, yeah, brought up and I just think it's really pretty. You could even put like a little necklace or bracelet around there or a ribbon if you wanted to, to gift it to somebody. That would be so cute with like a vintage rhinestone bracelet oh, around classic. there. That's terrible. With like some flowers. Oh. Yeah. I think spring flowers and that would be gorgeous. Really? Oh, look at the way it looks. Oh. When you yeah, oh look how pretty that is oh that's so pretty oh that's nice it is about a little over five and a quarter inches tall it looks like so it's not a huge piece so the the shipping wouldn't be horrible on it you know some of these pieces they get a little heavy i understand mm -hmm. but this one's not you know it's a nice thick glass you can tell right there it's a nice thick glass but it's yeah. not super super heavy that's beautiful it's yeah, like a like bit a flower of a on the top. At yeah, the top, so you can see the twist up there. Yeah, like a flower. Uh huh. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful. That would be beautiful flower. for spring, for Mother's Day or summer. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I like that one. Look at that color. Ooh, shiny. You know what it reminded me of when I picked it up? You're gonna laugh. It reminded me of the purse that Scarlett caught, carried in Gone with the Wind when she had the drape dress on and yeah. made the little bag purse for her to carry to see Rhett Butler at the jail. You yeah. remember that? Her purse was like this. It was a little pouch purse like that that she carried to see Rhett Butler. Very cool. I don't know. As soon as I saw it, that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> And then, of course, my mind went to Carol Burnett with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, that so is great. That is great. Pass on that if there's nobody interested. And then my second item is this really nice vintage uh, little perfume bottle. This is some kind of metal. I don't think it's brass. I wouldn't say that it's brass, but it's a heavier metal. And it's a little like a, almost like a travel perfume, but it would be so cute sitting on your vanity. It's got this little jewel on the top and it does have the applicator on the inside. See if I can pick it up. Oh, wow. So nice little vintage perfume bottle. And <laughs> this is yeah. going to be, uh, where did I write it down? $6 start. Nice. For the little perfume. Beautiful on a dresser tray. Yeah, that would be really cute. It would be. And it is two and a half inches tall. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little weight to it. It's not like a thin aluminum or something. It's, you know, you can tell like the older pieces, they were so well constructed. They always had a little bit more weight to them, you know, like you mm -hmm. could feel the difference. 
I know. I love the Carol Burnett thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it is a classic. I always think about that. That's awesome. That's awesome. And it screws right back on there. So you could carry Sweet. your perfume with you. And it wouldn't spill. I'm not going to, I'm not guaranteeing it wouldn't spill. I don't know. But <laughs> it depends how klutzy you are. I'm klutzy. Yeah. FYI, I, I'm not so. guaranteeing anything. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If there's no interest in that, we will pass on it. And that was my two. All right. That was, that was, those were beautiful. Those are really beautiful. All right. It's a box, but it has something in it. it and dust is free. This thing's got dust in it because this we got out again. You remember this. This was out of his mother in law's things. It is metal. It has not been used. Oh, wait. I take that back. No, that's a bug. I won't show you that part. But it's got these rubber. Yeah, it's got little rubber stoppers. I thought they were going to be metal feet, but they're rubber feet. Um, in good condition. It has some dust. But this is, I don't know how old this is. This was your mom's. Um, I am starting this at $10. $10. And I will wipe it off. I'll get the dust off and everything. But it has its box. It's original box. Um, I know it's earlier than the, the uh, 70s. I know it is. But uh, yeah, it says fire bucket. So use it as an ashtray or a decoration. Um, this does not come off. It is solid on there, handle solid. And these, I thought they were metal, but they're actually, yep, see, there's some more dust. I thought they were metal, but they feel like rubber. So there you go. This is $10. Put it in its back in its original box. I will clean it because it is dusty and old. This was from his mother's stuff. It does fit in the box very nicely. It says made in Hong Kong, number 3615. Made in Hong Kong. So it comes in the box. So that's my first one. If you want measurements, please let me know. I will get them for you. The second one is an original Roy Rogers, Dale Evans autograph set. So it is signed on an index card, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, with the COA. There's two copies of the COA. And then it comes with the record of Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, Happy Trails. Now this has been sealed in the plastic, so I'm not gonna open it up. I have not looked at the condition, but I have been told by the person I got this from, that it is in excellent condition. The, the record inside is yellow. It's an actual yellow record because it, it's called the golden record, little golden records, kind of like little golden books. So the, the actual record inside is yellow, but it has been sealed in this um, like plastic sealed bag with the COAs. This is $25. Oops, $25. It does have the COA with it. They are those original, those are original autographs with the record. Now, somebody asked me the speed on the record. I never could figure out the speed. I'd have to do some more research. I am not sure of what the speed is. I couldn't find it on here. But back in the day, this was 25 cents. Is that crazy or what? If they were only 25 cents now. Made in Rockefeller Center, New York. All right, so that is my two. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, that everything you see, if it's not bid on, you can always contact Gina. You can always contact me. We can play Let's Make a Deal. We can get you stuff. Um, for me... I do open boxes till the end of the month, so open boxes will be closing soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing a 45 too, but somebody suggested 30, 78. 78. I don't know. I haven't done enough research on it. Um, but that it, they are official autographs. They have been COA'd. Um, and it's just so cool. It's such cool vintage that you don't see anymore. So, yep. 
Um, but again, you guys remember that you can always uh, hit us up later and we're more than happy to um, share with you. So we have one more round. And then I don't know if Gina has any add-ons. I have a few add-ons that I'll add on at the end. If Gina has any, that's great. Um, but we're going to turn it back to Gina. Thank you, Gina. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a Margaret Studios. This is a mid-century 1960s uh, piece. It is a wooden plate uh, that Margaret, I forgot what her last name was now. Uh, she used to paint these, like hand paint these wooden plates. Nice. Um, and I love this piece. I think it's great. It does have a little bit of rubbing here and there. I mean, when you got it hanging up, you really can't see that. And I think there's one little chip somewhere just in the paint, not in the actual wood that you could touch up if you wanted to. But it's got the hanger on the back right there. And it does have Margaret Studios right there under the paint. You can't really see it. It's like a paint palette is her logo right there. Oh, yeah. There it is. So these are really collectible. I think they're fantastic. It'll be a $6 start. Nice. Very cool. And you don't have to hang it. You can just put it on a table if you wanted to like a coffee table or something it's 10 and a quarter inches and she it is oh so it's a good size as well oh, yeah right there. it's got the signature does it have a foot base or is it just like a regular plate with a it's oh no it's got a lip on it yeah so you could yeah. use it as like a trivet or a display piece uh -huh. or oh yeah mid-century modern yeah I'm all about that stuff. <laughs> I can't <laughs> bypass it, unfortunately. It draws me in every time. Me too. I love, I love vint. I just, I love the fifties and sixties stuff. And then I love the seventies stuff. So yeah, it's got that really thick base on it. Yeah. I guess, you know, she had, a lot of these made like turned wood plates made for her to paint and i'm trying to see there's something else written under the margaret studios incorporated it looks like a number but i cannot make it out unfortunately because it's under yeah i have my jeweler's loop i try to read stuff and i still can't make it out even with my jeweler's loop yeah i don't i can't even most of the time i'm sitting there looking at like you ought to see me when I'm sourcing. I'm having to like feel <laughs> everything because it's like, is there any chips or cracks? I can't see it. It's horrible. <laughs> I need to carry Levi with me. Maybe he can help me. <laughs> there he goes. See? He said, yeah, I'll go with you. Chip, how did you get out here? They're both out here now. Hi, guys. Or so girl. We will pass on that if there's no interest in my last item. Hey, puppy dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's enough fun. Thank you. <laughs> um you got levi going now thank you for that <laughs> so my last <laughs> item is a really cool old uh piece of glass is made by tiara glass and it is the jolly mountaineer decanter in the blue oh my gosh wow is that yeah. a piggy bank then it's a decanter Oh, it's a decanter. Uh, okay. Now I'm starting him at just ten dollars. I know these go for quite a bit more. Um, he does not have his hats, which was the top originally. Okay. And even the ones without the hat go for much more than the ten dollars. Well, that is super cool, though. I think he's really fun. Yeah. Nice figural piece. A vintage glass. I think he's fantastic. Yeah, I think he's fantastic. And he's that blue that I love so much. Uh-huh. And he's quite, I mean, he's not a small good. piece. He's a pretty decent sized piece. Yeah, he's a good piece. Somebody could make a hat for him easily. I actually have all those crafty people out there. glass that I had on there that is a little bit darker shade of blue. So if you wanted him and you wanted me to put that in there with it, I could because it does fit on there. It's just a little bit darker than he is. 
Oh, cool. I yeah, I can see some crafty that. person coming up with a really cool hat for him. So it's nine inches tall. I just didn't want anybody to think I was trying to pass something off that wasn't supposed to be there. But I had, you know, <laughs> when I got him, that's what was on it. And I took okay. it off so that, you know, people wouldn't think I was trying to pull something on them. But, you know, that's supposed to be his hat at the top. And that's the hole of the decanter. So you could pour yeah, but there's a lot of crafty people that could make a really cool hat for him, like a real tall hat or something that would really look nice on him. That's I cool. I it's fun. There's a lot you can yeah. do with him. I think with 4th of July coming up, you could do something with him. There you Use go. Yeah. Blue. Put a beard on him. Call him Uncle Sam. Put a cool hat yeah. on him. But look, he's holding his cup. He's got his glass, his beer glass right there. Oh, yeah. His, there you go. He's got his beer belly going on. Look at yep. him. He totally could be like an Uncle Sam type <laughs> 4th of July decoration. I could totally see that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But if there's no interest, we will pass on him. And that was my two. Okie dokie. All righty. Waiting for the thing to rotate. I have a set of two of these. And so it's going to be a $10 start for the... Oh, Tammy's in for 10 Oh, Is... okay, Tammy. We'll just count it down. Go ahead. Okay, going once to Tammy. Tammy, you got to tell me what kind of hat he's going to get. Going twice to Tammy. And dun, 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 dun. Sold to Tammy. Yes. Okay. You got to tell me what to do with them. All right. My next one is two pillows. We're going to start this at $10 for the two. It's not each. Starting at $10. They are Coca Pelli. Um, Flute dance um, pillows. They are in excellent condition. It is a matching set. So if you have a Southwestern theme in your house or you collect Indian or Southwestern things, these are awesome. They are in excellent condition, minus the hair. A little fuzz there. Okay. Um, they are in excellent condition. They are quite large. They are... 16 by 16, so 15, 15, 16, 16 size. Um, so perfect for your couch, perfect for throw pillows on your bed. But these would just be great for um, a Southwestern or Indian type themed home, um, anything like that. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, these will be very easy to ship. We can put them in a poly bag. Like, oh, is that ripped? No, it's not. It's okay. Um, we can put these in a poly bag and get them to you. All right. So don't don't be thinking, oh, they're gonna be so heavy to ship because these can go great in a poly bag. All right. My last one is this set of Sarah Coventry jewelry. It is the daisy pattern. It is a brooch. There it goes with, with clip earrings. They are all marked Sarah Coventry. They are in beautiful condition. Um, it is on a safety clasp, and the um, the um, clip is in excellent condition as well. They are marked. You can see that line right there. That's a Sarah Coventry. This is twenty dollars. Start at twenty dollars. For those who know Sarah Coventry, they know this is a really nice set. This just screams spring, and you know. Spring springtime with its blues and yellows. I just love this set. I think it's so pretty for spring. If you're going to dress up for Easter or Mother's Day, this would be great for Easter or Mother's Day. Perfect as a Mother's Day gift if you have a Sarah Coventry fan in your house. So $20 start. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's those two. Gina, do you have any add-ons or anything you want to show? Okay. I'm going to do three quick add-ons. If you have purchased from me or have an open box, I have this cute little root beer bitters. It says root, it says root bitters on the container. It's a little itty bitty bottle, blue. It's $2. First person that puts in bitters can get it for two bucks. Okay, just put in bitters. If you have bought from me before and I can add it to your box. And then this one 
is a Boyd's Angel Bear. Has its little tag, has its butt tag. Excellent condition. If you've purchased from me before, this can be an add-on for $4. The body is pink. It's got the little pearl buttons, little angel wings. So I think this might have was supposed to be an ornament, possibly. I'm unsure. But $4. Sung Lee, you want this one? Okay. Angel Bunny goes to Sung Lee's box. Got it. And then the last one is also a Boyd's beer. It's also an ornament. It's got a little Victorian thing on it. It's got its hang tag, but not its ear tag. And this one is $3. So if you have a bo an open box with me or you have, um, or you have made a purchase tonight, these would be little add-ons to add to your box. There's a little rose up there. Again, little tag, but no, um, no hang tag. Cute buttons, though. Very cute little Victorian bear. I, I'm assuming, again, this would be a Christmas ornament, but I'm unsure. Those are my add-ons for tonight. All righty. Thank you so much for joining us. Can we bring uh, Tina back up? Da, da, da. <laughs> da, da, da. We're not there yet. Oh, we are on, we are on YouTube. We're just not on my computer. Okay, oh. sounds good. <laughs> Gina, thank you for joining hey. us. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it so much. If you are not subscribed to Gina, please, <laughs> it's in the chat right now. Go subscribe. She Please. does a lot of shows. And every now and then she lets me join her. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gina is awesome. I love having her. Thank you for coming on to my, my little guys. show here. Thank you. Uh, Angie, are you going to be on any auctions tonight? Nope, this was my auction on Monday. Oh, Christine wants to know if she can have the abalone brooch, please. Absolutely. Thank you. I'll put you yep. down for that. If you do not, if if you're out there and you purchase something and you and Gina does not have your information, you'll see right down in the bottom of our, our pictures, you'll see our, our uh, emails. Go ahead and email us your information. Um, that way she can get it out to you in a timely manner. Um, thank you, Becky. It was good to see you guys. Gina, let them know again wh where you're going to be this week. Okay, so tomorrow I will be on my channel, Southern Siren Vintage, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I'll be joined by Jen Ease, and we're doing our quickie Yay. sale. If you've never come to that, make sure you show up at least one time. It's something you got to experience at least one time. We go through <laughs> it's fun. 100 items in two hours between the two it's of us. It's fast. 50 items. We go super fast. Everything is a flat price, and we just go. Like, you got to be fast to even put the number in because we're going. We don't even see it. So, Yes, Tammy, okay. she did that you wanted the blue bottle or the blue guy, the blue character guy. Yeah, Tammy, we got that. Yeah, I got you, honey. Thank you. Yep, we got gotcha. you. And then Wednesday, I will be having my morning show again, which is SSV Mug Club. I just started that this week. It's a lot of fun. I think it's going to be so much fun. I just show like 10 oh, items so pretty much, 10 at 10 kind of thing, uh, 10 Eastern. And we sit and have a cup of coffee or a hot tea or whatever you drink together and just kind of chat and have a good time. And then on uh, Thursday, I'm back at 9 p.m. That's my night sale on my channel. And then Friday, I'll be back for my mug club again. So thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope to see you guys around. I know I'll see you in chats and everything anyway. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And for me, I have tomorrow with Tre Treasure Scavengers at 7. And then I have nothing else this week. Mm. Which my husband is happy about because I can catch up. Um, and then next week, my Monday market guest is Wonder Woman Wendy. So I've never had her on before. I'm looking forward to that. And also next week on Thursday will be the Crafty Clearance. If you've never been to my Crafty Clearance, I blow thing, I blow crafty stuff out at really good cheap prices, papers and stamps and everything. And we have a blast and we chit chat and we have a great time. So Thank you so much for coming tonight and have a great week. I hope you all have an awesome week and I will see you in the chats. And thank Absolutely. you for coming. Be also, blessed, remember, everyone. thumbs up, subscribe, and give uh, Gina a subscription too, all right? Love you all. Good night. Bye, guys.